Hello and welcome to Yoga Flow with Monica. I am Monica and today, as you probably can hear it, we're gonna do yoga for cold or flu. So as long as you're feeling okay, you don't have any high fever and any shortness or difficulty breathing, you can do some type of exercise. And yoga is one of the things which can, can really help you to move out your body a little bit more. And we're gonna practice today a couple of poses which will help us to open up a little bit, as well as to calm down our, our parasympathetic nervous system. So we're gonna start in seated position, start relaxing the shoulders and slowly releasing the neck, well, your head towards the left side. You can stay here or just bring the left palm towards your right ear. Two breaths here. And one more. Slowly come back to the center and go the other way. Again, the arm is optional. Make sure you're not pulling. Just stretching out the muscles around your neck. One more breath. And then come back to neutral and just come into child's pose. So first maybe transfer yourself into all fours and then release yourself to the child's pose. Completely relax. Let your head sink into the floor. Deep inhale and exhale. Two more. Remember, if your block, if your nose is blocked, it's okay. Still, try really inhale deeply through the mouth, and exhale fully. Slowly start rising up, tucking the toes and coming into very restorative downward dog. You don't have to straighten the legs. Try to straighten the back a little bit but don't overdo it just observe how you feel continue breathing continue relaxing and finding the comfortable place then look forward walk towards your palms no rush we're gonna come into forward fold we're gonna stay here a little bit longer let the head relax. You can grab the opposite elbows or inter interlace your palms and bring them behind your head. Completely release. I know it's not easy to find comfortable place when you're ill. You constantly feel that something is wrong with you. But just try to close your eyes and check in with the rest of your body. Shift that attention from your nose and the throat to somewhere else. Maybe extend the legs a little bit more. Don't forget to breathe. One more deep inhale and exhale. As I mentioned, you can breathe through the mouth if at the moment your nose is blocked. Then we very slowly gonna walk out the legs into downward dog one more time. Just for a second, not gonna stay here long. Just letting the blood reach our head. May hopefully make us a little bit warmer. One more breath. And then release the knees down. Bring the big toes together, open the knees a little bit wider than before and come into child's pose one more time. Really sinking into the floor, relaxing your body, trying to find the comfort in this pose. One more breath here. And when you're ready, we're going to lift up onto our knees. We're going to do a little bit dynamic um, camel pose. So you have like full camel pose and you have half camel pose when we reach with one arm towards the heel and lift the other arm up. 
So we're going to move from side to side. So we kind of sit into our heels, reach towards the other heel and lift that arm, which is not touching the heel up. Then again, moving through the center, other way. So really like a little bit more movement in your body. Remember, it's good to move. If, you, if you're not feeling very, very bad, as I mentioned, or if you don't have high fever, or it's just with breathing, gentle exercise can do good during the cold. So a couple more times, we're just opening to one side, relaxing, glutes towards the heels, and then lifting up. So without going into the deepest expression of the camel pose, just trying to open up the airways in our chest. One more breath. And then come back into kneeling position. Cross the legs. Sit down and open the legs as wide as you can. So we're going to open the legs as wide as we can. You can always use the block underneath your glutes if you wish. And we're going to sink forward. No judgment. Just going forward. Slow releasing the body towards the floor. You can relax the head. The only thing I would suggest, try to keep the toes gently flexed and the knee should be facing up. Okay. And we're just opening up the inner thighs. Stretching out this big muscle should shift again the focus uh, around your neck and throat and nose into that bigger uh, muscle. That should feel nice. Try to concentrate on the stretch. Forget that you have a blocked nose. Forget for a second about your sore throat. Inhale and exhale. Just one more. Then gently come back up. We're going to bend into the both knees, but we're going to release the left leg to the floor while keeping the right knee facing up and bringing the right foot outside the left knee, okay? And we're going to come into gentle twist. So we have two options. If you want to stretch out the glutes a little bit more as well, you can hug that knee, the right knee into your chest and the twist then. Or if you want to twist a little bit deeper, if it feels okay in your chest area, you can bend into your left elbow and just push that left elbow into your right knee. So choose your option. Try to keep the chest open, so don't round it, okay? It's very important to remember to open the chest because when we ill, we start closing down, especially as well if we have some uh, cough. We tend to really kind of round our backs and close the chest. So now it's very important to open up that a little bit. As long as it feels okay, of course. And go to the other side. So just lean backwards a little bit into your palms. Switch the legs. So the left Light, uh, uh, foot outside the right knee, the left knee looking up, and repeat the same what you've done on the other side. So if you hug the knee, hug it again. If you push the elbow into the knee, do it again. Inhale, exhale, and check in that your shoulders going opposite ways, not facing forward. So that those collarbones are really shining through, okay? Inhale, and exhale. Two more here. It's okay to breathe through the mouth. I am breathing through the mouth. So just take your time. One more. Come back to the center. Wonderful. We're going to slowly release ourselves to the floor. Take the time again. Don't rush any way you wish. Just go to the floor. Extend the legs. Pick yourself up onto your elbows, okay? So on your forearms. 
and we're gonna try to release <laughs> just observe how it feels for me it's quite uh, difficult because i'm i'm having quite a strong uh, cough but see if you can <clears throat> actually release your top of the head more or less to the floor and then relax there so it's really opening the throat coming into fish pose. Stay there as long as you wish. Feel how the airways are opening. Apologies about the voice. <laughs> One more breath here. And then lift yourself up onto your forearms and slowly release into Shavasana. Relax here as long as you wish. Let your body rest and sink into the floor. I know it tends to bring you cough when you're lying for a long time. So if you prefer to relax, you can actually come into cross-legged seated position. So your choice, either Shavasana or cross-legged seated position. I'm going to leave you here. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you will get better as soon as possible and I hope to see you soon on my channel again. Namaste.